Hey guys, what's going on? This is Chris from La Familia. And uh, yeah, welcome to another edition of uh, Here in the Hood. That's not the real name, but I just made it up. Um, yeah, so, you know, if any of you guys have seen my last couple of videos, um, sort of looking at interesting aspects of early hip hop culture, and especially with uh, relation or, or in relation to um, breaking, like the early parts of breaking, early inspirations, um, and stuff like that. Um, so I came across this video yesterday that I was watching um, online, and it was actually um the part of the new podcast by mike tyson called it's called hot boxing with mike tyson so i recommend any of you guys go and watch this uh this podcast he has different guests every week and um uh you know having been a massive massive fan of mike tyson since i was a little boy um to to see all the stuff that he's gone through and who he has become now as a, you know, as, as an, a middle-aged man, basically. Um, you know, you, you just can't help but love him anyway. But he, he tells some of the funniest stories. And there, there's this one episode I was watching yesterday with um, the special guest being Exhibit, um, the rapper. So naturally, hip-hop came up as a subject. And... Um, Mike had some really interesting things to say and when we think about say or, or when we discuss early the earliest moments in hip-hop culture especially pertaining to breaking we always end up at the same spot really they talk about being at the block parties with Cool Herc and you know they start doing these things with the turntables and you know uh, repeating the breaks and such um, and Mike quite interestingly goes a little bit before that and he he explains some really uh, just a, a quite simple but a really interesting um, part of that story which is that young kids were already taking um, their turntables outside and playing music um, they just hadn't done the, the things that um, Herc and then his subsequent uh, followers uh, did after that, and so it was quite interesting for me to uh, to realise that wow, so these kids out on their blocks and such were already taking their turntables outside to play music, and um, uh, Mike says, you know, they were they were playing stuff like the stylistics and stuff, <laughs> and and just the music that they liked, the music of the time. And um, yeah, it was just interesting. It just to give another uh, another angle on the situation of early, uh, the development of early hip hop culture and how our breaking culture came out of that. Um, it just gives you a nice, uh, broader perspective on things. Um, so anyway, I'm going to show you uh, a couple of bits from this podcast, and I really hope that you guys can go and check it out because um, I really enjoy it. Um, and yeah, a quick shout out to Mike Tyson, big hero of mine if you ever get a chance to watch this. Um, and also, I just want to give another quick shout out before I cut to the video uh, to uh, Pervez from Live to Break and his jam, Let's Jam, is uh, coming back again on June the 25th. It's a Tuesday night. Uh, I think it starts about 7 p.m. and it's only five pounds on the door. Any of you guys from the UK, all over, Europe, whoever, wherever, come down. It's a fantastic night uh, from my experience and it's, a, it's just a, a brilliant vibe. So uh, I hope to see you guys there. I'll be there. <clears throat> and most likely my crew will be there too. Um, so we'll look forward to, to see you guys. Uh, anyway. Here we go. Yeah. You know, I never, um, 
never looked at my life from that perspective. I even knew hip hop was a way of life that we were living. And normally, all the people when hip hop, when I first heard hip hop, I was in a, I was locked up in a reformatory, and we heard it on the radio in the bathrooms. Rappers delight, yeah. right? And so um, we went absolutely crazy because before then, we would always bring our turntables out in the park or somewhere yeah. in the center and we would play our own music music that everybody hated normally you know everybody playing the stylistics and stuff <laughs> yeah. the Diana Ross but everybody yeah. hated this hip hop because if, if it was if we were screaming but it's not we were just making our statement not un unbeknown to ourselves we were making a statement yeah. without even knowing yeah. so hip hop kind of came the earliest of it was off at the end of disco, that era, mm -hmm. like late yes. 70s, yeah. was yes. the beginning of hip hop. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I was born in 74, mm -hmm. right? And so my first encounter with hip hop was um, like um, rapping Duke. Uh, mm -hmm. the, 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 yeah, the ha, the ha. Yeah. And then, you know, um, uh, um, uh, don't, 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 don't. Don't, jam, don't, on don't, don't, don't. Jam, jam on it, jam yeah, on yeah. it, yeah, that was yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was, that was yeah. A, yeah, real yeah. dancing yeah. song. Yeah, Th those were like my first encounters with hip hop, and then I, I, as I got introduced to it, my older brother, uh, he brought, he was the first one to bring home the Run DMC Raising Hell cassette. It was a green cassette, and then I started listening to that, and then he had a Kango that I, you know, he would, I was never allowed to to wear his Kango or use his wave brush. <laughs> but every time he left, that's exactly what I did. Yeah. I put it on, I take off my shirt and I try to emulate, you know, uh, LL. You know what I'm saying? Like, those were like the real grassroots approach Listen, that I, I, that I remember, learned hip hop through. I can remember when Biz Markie and, and um, Fresh Print, um, Will Smith was on the same crew. Yeah. They used to be oh, the wow. same crew what? together. Yeah. Wow. Oh, to, yeah. I used to, I went to see them perform one day. It probably was 1986, 85. It was in Hartford, Connecticut. I went to see him perform with everybody was there. Really? Yeah, it was Will Smith, Biz Mark, oh, and they were that's, dope. that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> that's nuts, bro. Hell yeah. I love to hear how, Mike, you know, you you were so influenced by hip hop and the the relationship was mutual in that way. Well, listen, we were all, that was the, um, if you were listening to hip hop in 1980, let's say 85, 86, back then, eight, back then, if you were listening to it back then, you were you're pretty much of um, an outsider in society. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're a different person to listen to that music. No one knew what these people were saying. <laughs> and now it's the biggest genre. It's mm -hmm. taking over yeah. pop music. It's it become it, it's become the new pop music. DJs have definitely developed and evolved over time. It's incredible. Yeah, it's they're, incredible. They're, they're now the front man. You know? It's yeah. Crazy. Before yeah. they were the back man. Yeah, exactly. Now they're the front man. <laughs> Interesting, man. And that's all works out. That's just all from the... Um, my belief, all this stuff just comes from the um, the universe. You know what I mean? Yeah. Nobody's going to be second. Everybody's going to be first, but they're gonna, it's going to be in their time. Yeah. Everybody's going to have their chance to be first. Everybody's yeah. not going to be number two or in the back seat forever. Yeah. Um, so, right, I'm guessing you guys had a chance to check that out. And um, hopefully you guys found it as uh, insightful as I did, especially if you have any sort of interest in early hip hop and early breaking culture. Um, but there's just one more clip that I want to show you guys which I found really funny now these guys um, where they are it's um, okay for them to smoke marijuana and Mike and Exhibit also have um, uh, investments in the cannabis uh, industry uh, so they're, they're smoking a little bit and then they start getting onto the topic of reincarnation and uh, Mike tells a really funny story here, so I'm going to quickly share that with you guys. Um, and I hope you guys all have a laugh. I, I literally laughed out loud, so um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Cool. Yeah, we've been talking about uh, reincarnation a lot. Yeah. yeah. And you know, we've talked about this, and I think that, you know, as fucking crazy as this might sound, I, I've definitely lived many lives here before. Yeah. My wife says that all the time about herself. She says, she, I've been a conqueror, I've been a slave. She, I said, fuck. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. I've been, I've been a, you know, I wonder sometimes, because I told my wife, I said, babe, if you really believe that, do you believe that? My wife is just such a, a paranoia about flies, roaches, stuff flying in the house, and so she freaks out, right? Mm. So I said, babe, yes, think about that. One of these flies, one of these roaches, 
that you're trying to kill because it's just freaking you out. It's nowhere near you, but it's in the house with you and it's freaking you out. And it's so small, it can't eat much. It can't harm you, can't do nothing. But you kill it. Suppose that's your grandmother. <laughs> Dude, I mean, maybe. You're totally right, <laughs> Damn. bro. Suppose that's your grandma trying to inform you that, hey, baby, I love you. Forget yeah. that. that she know, she's so excited she saw you. Forget that I'm a fly or a bug. <laughs> hey, baby, I love you. Yeah. She's smelling up your ass and you squash her. <laughs> Uh, I think that sometimes when my wife does that, that you're killing your ancestors. Shit, bro. Dude, oh, I shit. think it all the time, shit like killing that. Your ancestors. <laughs> Alright guys. Um honestly I just watched the clip again and I'm I'm still laughing at that stuff. It's fantastic. Um You know, thanks for uh watching the video. If you wanna subscribe, subscribe, uh click the like button, share it and so on. I'm not really chasing subscribers or, or viewers, but if you find it interesting, then, then you know, give it a little follow. Um, and yeah, next time I find something interesting to discuss, you'll find me on here again. So thanks, and I'll chat to you guys soon.